you're trying to radiate the energy from the base of your body, which is your feet, and you're trying to elevate that energy through the core to the tips of your finger. And to me, just, just sitting back and coming out really is demanding for me. It's not dose. So, just remember what I said, just remember what you need to do. And even though we look at different clusters of movements, you can apply the same principles to something as easy as that uh, fighting the hood's game. All right. We remember that we have to use our hips to rotate. We have to use your waist to rotate. And everything is not dependent on our extremities, like Ken said, but the whole movement coming from our core to do our maiden and everything else. So remember that. When we're in our last um, golden cockerel, we're standing on our right, we're lifting, <clears throat> lifting up our left. Our heel comes out full extent, gently. We hold our ball. Our heel comes out at the same time this motion occurs. Our hand comes out. Our knees are then open. We rotate our hips and our waist, and then we shut up. Now, what I see is that, and I think Ken was going to talk to you folks about it, that how we learn about something difficult is by following and then it becomes a, a mimic, you're mimicking the teacher or the leader or the, the video. But in essence, if you know something about the reason and why you're doing it, it adds another component rather than just a mimic. So in this case, I wanted to show you what I see. So golden cockerel, heel out, gold ball. This is what I see. I'm one, I'm out of my, I'm out of my Tai Chi posture because the cables then stretch forward. Okay, that's one thing. Another thing is that you're using your extremity to get there. Very different from what I want to try to teach you. Okay, watch. So this is open problem. Be allowed to go to ball. You allow to shift your hands, open your knees, rotate. You see that different? That's what I want, okay? Sit back, out, hold your ball, heel, shift your hands, open your knees, rotate. Shut. So it's not so much this, but it's the torso, hip, waist that's making you turn to make a natural movement. Okay, the cable still holding you together, not coming forward and not pushing with your hand. Really aware of the opening of the knee, opening of the knee, shifting and torso, using your hip and your waist to then get this one, push this out straight. So there again, it's Tai Chi Wong. What did I say in the beginning of class? We said, obviously over-exaggerate the shh the alignment of the hip. To bring the heel out to open the knee, then to rotate and shift. That's basically what I taught you there with me again. Okay? So can you, just the way I told you fighting the horse's mane is not so easy. Tai Chi walk is not so easy because it's applying the basic to a hard complex I just want to amplify on that. She emphasized the top of the body but all the movements, and I try to say that, starts with the uli. The Tai Chi people refer to that, that the substantial foot is planted, that means it's stuck in the ground, from which all other things happen. Okay, so, let's see. So you, you, you're going to be, it's up like this, right? Yeah. And then you come down. This is planted. But I shift, and now this becomes planted. And then 
I go forward. Still planted, but as I as I open up, rotate and advance, I become unplanted, or in this case, we're unplanting, and then also this thing is coming into play. As this unplants, the energy is starting to come up here. When you get up here, the energy is coming this way, and you finish off this way. You're going to be ultimately here, but it starts off with planting, planting, step. Insubstantial gets to move because the substantial Tai Chi, Tai Chi, uh, I guess, rules is you don't move this one, you move this one. Once you get there, though, you're going to shift weight, and you're, you're coming from here. You, 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 mobility, get ready to. You have, you're transferring energy forward and rotating, and you finish up here. This becomes substantial. When you put your heel out, two things happen. Heel and hand, okay? Heel and hand, open the knees, rotate your hips and waist, shuttle on your right. Sit back, out, hold your ball, heel and hand, open the knee, rotate, shuttle on your left. Bring both hands back, set up your top hand, Bend the back knee, bottom C. Lift one hand, two hands, bend your foot, heel, start in the middle, flash arms like a fan. One more time from me then, from Golden Home. It's the light of the hip. Yeah, that's not just right. If the alignment of the hip is exaggerated, you have a better chance of you have a better chance if it's aligned, aligned, out, shift, you have a better chance of them rotating to shuttle. But if you're not aligned in the beginning and only partially aligned, you have no chance to open to make that rotation to help you with your upper extremity. So I'm going to go back to that. Um, alignment of over-exaggerating. Until I meet you the next time, when you start to do Tai Chi walk, can you really tell yourself, and you can do it with me, out, align, meaning two hips have to be aligned to that outward foot, which is our right. The heel comes out. You're opening. Can you show me an open of your knee? Then you rotate and align. Sit back, out, align, tippy for now. Can you go with your hips and see if they're aligned and do what I'm doing? Here, open the knee, then rotate, stretch. One more, sit back, all the way back. Then pivot, out, 45, align. Here. Open the knee first and then shift your weight and adjust. 